Howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome to 2020. We're finally here. It's been a crazy year with everything going on. So if you're joining us for seventh grade this year, um, these are some topics um, and some quick things that we're going to be covering as the year goes on. Um, when you get here, the first week or two is going to be really focused on going over rules and procedures and getting used to just the layout of the classroom and the environment. Obviously, Obviously, this year is going to be very different from other years because of COVID. Uh, you're going to be having to use hand sanitizer. We're going to be having to wipe down desks, socially distance, and, of course, masks. Yeah, that's going to be the new big one. It's going to be a challenge for myself as well as you guys. But after these first kind of week, week and a half, uh, two weeks of class go by, we're actually going to kind of get into the meat of our topics that we cover throughout the year. Uh, so first off, in seventh grade, we always start with kind of reviewing a basic map and going over kind of uh, rough geography over the continents, oceans, learning about latitude, longitude, um, learning between the difference between a physical map and a political map, and just little things like that. Um, these are tools and skills that we will use as the year progresses because we will continue to look at maps. I mean, even today, I got on... Even today, I got on Google Maps um, to try to get to a certain location. So we're still using maps today, and throughout your life, you're going to be using them. Uh, it's much simpler now because of technology, um, but if that ever went away, you would hopefully learn some skills in this class where you, you would be able to get from point A to point B pretty successfully. Um, so after kind of our basic geography, we're going to slowly move into North America um, so we're going to learn about Canada, and we're going to learn about the United States. We're going to learn about the geography. We're going to learn about all the Great Lakes. We're going to learn about some of the major features of the United States. Maybe it's the Grand Canyon, the Rocky Mountains. Um, maybe it's the Appalachian Mountains. We're going to be talking about all of these features. Um, and if you've ever been to any of these places, hopefully you have some firsthand experience, and, and you can relate it to the other students in the class. Because a lot of kids haven't been to the Grand Canyon, and that's something that's really special and really cool. Um, so we're going to be taking you there virtually using tools like Nearpod or Google Earth or stuff like that. Um, but I want to hopefully instill a sense of passion in you guys that when you leave my classroom, you're, you're excited to go to those places one day and you want to learn about them. So after North America, U.S., Canada, uh, we're going to get into Africa. Um, Africa typically is a pretty quick unit for us. I'd love to spend more time on it. There's so many beautiful things there. Uh, you have the world's uh, widest waterfall, not the tallest, but the widest waterfall there. You have, of course, Egypt with all their ancient history. You have so many just beautiful features, whether you enjoy deserts with the Sahara Desert there, or you enjoy jungles or giant rivers and lakes. There's so much cool geography in Africa, um, and it's a massive continent. After Africa, we'll typically take a, a short break because of Christmas, um, and when we come back, we get into one of my favorite units, and that's Latin America. Latin America is essentially everything from Mexico all the way down to the bottom of South America. We'll talk about uh, the Caribbean, whether it's Jamaica or Cuba or the Dominican Republic, or Puerto Rico. We'll, we'll hit that and then we get into Mexico and Brazil and we get into Peru and we get to talk about their ancient culture whether it's the Incas, the Mayans, the Aztecs. We get into all that and we get into their geography. They have beautiful geography there as well. Um, some really cool videos on YouTube you can find. Um, I know all sorts of cool places and I'm gonna show you those in class. After we hit Latin America we get to another really fun unit with Europe. Europe is so cool because they've got such a rich history. Um, it's a compact area, pretty small, and because of it's, it's such just a small area and there's limited resources, countries have fought with each other for hundreds and thousands, not hundreds of thousands, but hundreds and thousands of years they've fought against each other. So we get to talk a little about the Greeks, the Romans, and we move on and we hit the Renaissance, we hit the Black Plague, we hit the French Revolution, we hit World War One, World War Two, and these are very fun topics and you guys should uh, really get some rich history out of that. 
Um, if we have time after that, because that's a big unit, we get into Asia. And Asia is an, another equally really just cool place um, that we don't ever get to spend enough time uh, talking about because we're kind of crunched on time because we got to hit certain standards. Uh, but we will, if we have time, get into the Chinese dynasties. We get to talk about China's um, culture and we get to talk about their geography. If you've ever seen the movie Avatar, the, the geography from the movie Avatar is based off of geography you can find in China. There's some crazy cool places there. Um, we talk a little about North and South Korea and of course part of Russia is also uh, in Asia as well. Um, if we have time we get to that. Obviously seventh grade is really focused on geography and culture throughout the world. Um, if you want to spend time looking ahead at some of these things I've talked about, go for it. It'll only allow you to be p better prepared for coming to class. So I hope to see you guys soon. Um, I hope you're in class or virtual. I'm excited for this year. We're going to be covering a vast array of topics.